Hey everyone, thanks a lot for stopping by. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G, and if you could take a second, can you please hit that subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What I wanna talk about today, I wanna to talk about some things that changed in my life once I put down the bottle, once I stopped drinking alcoholically. What improved in my life? Some of these examples I'm gonna to give to you, you can probably relate to, maybe you can't, but they did happen to me. Some came slow, some came fast, but life did get better overall once I stopped drinking. It wasn't easy for some of these things, but you know something, they did come and they did happen and life today is pretty damn good. Okay, so let's get to it. The first one that improved dramatically was my health. I weighed about 155 pounds when I first sobered up. I weighed 210 as you see me now. I was grossly underweight. I never ate. All I ate was barley sandwiches. I was a big beer drinker. So when I drank, I never got hungry. I just lost a lot of weight though. I was very skinny. I looked kind of scary sometimes. I tried to date women at that time and they said, you're just too skinny, Terry G. And you know something, they were, they were right. I'm, I'm six foot two, 155 pounds at that time. I was grossly underweight. So just starting to eat properly. I know it's a basic thing, but just starting to eat properly, my general health started to improve. I also had heart palpitations. I shared some other videos. I had gastro problems, stomach problems. Like, because if you don't eat and you just drink, it rots your stomach out for lesser words and you may have issues with your stomach. So my general health really improved. Another thing that improved dramatically, when I was drinking, I thought I was getting sleep, but really I was just passing out. So my sleeps were not that great and I'd wake up with hangovers and all that kind of stuff. So sleeping really improved a lot. And I know you're gonna say to yourself, that's not such a big deal, but it really is a big deal. If you're eating properly and you're sleep, sleeping properly, you can work on your recovery much, much easier. Another thing that improved, I, had, I started to accumulate furniture and a place to live. And they sort of go hand in hand, right? I was always being evicted, I thrown out of room in houses, unable to pay my rent. I never, never was able to accumulate any furniture or live in the same place for over a year. So when I sobered up, I lived in the same place for like three or four years. I was totally amazed. The last place I lived in was for about 10 years. I moved in with my sweetheart just recently. If not, I'd still be there. So living somewhere for more than a month or two was a really great improvement. And that only came when I quit drinking, believe it or not, because I drank all my money away. And that's another thing that improved. My financial situation improved dramatically really quick. I have never made a great deal of money in my life. I think when I quit drinking, I was making about $25,000 a year. In early sobriety, I was probably making about $12,000 a year. The best money I've ever made in my life is right now, as I'm speaking to you now. I'm a bus driver for the city and they pay me pretty good. So, but what happened when I drank, I drank all my money away. I had no savings, I was in debt, I was in bad credit, I had uh, collectors after me, I had my car repo, believe it or not. I was in really bad financial shape when I came into the program. Thanks to the program, I was able to get a full-time job, work on my credit rating, and have money in my pocket. Some people might say, well, they're material items, Terry, they're not really important. But let me tell you something, having your own apartment or your own room having some furniture, having some money in your pocket, make you really feel good. And because of that, sobriety is a little bit easier. It's nice to go for a coffee when you want it, or go for a hamburger, or your cell phone bill is paid all the time. You can talk to your, your mentor or friends in the program. And I know it's not priority, but it did improve dramatically. Another thing that improved that I thought was terrific, I remember my sister walking up to me and saying, Terry, this is the best that you have ever been in your whole life. And I asked her, like, what do you mean by that? She says, Terry, you've never been this great. And I said to myself, gee, my relationships with my family and friends are improving dramatically too. I was unable to have any sort of relationships with anybody. My relationships were very superficial. They weren't in depth, there was no, you know, one-on-one -on -one really nice conversation, you know, brother and sister conversations. And they were terrible when I drank. 
I was a bit of a loner. I stayed back from my family. I never really told anybody what was going on. So I, no one really got to know Terry G. I was a loner. So my relationships over time improved when I quit drinking. And you know something, and I have great relationships now. Some people tell me, Terry, you're a really popular guy. I'm really not that popular. I just know a lot of people. I'm a very, out, I'm a very outgoing kind of guy. And I keep in touch with my friends. I have three or four really close friends and I talk to them on a daily basis. My relationship with my family, different parts of it is kind of strained a little more than others, but overall, it's, it's very, very good. Another thing that's improved is my work. I'm more trusting at work. People trust me more. I'm more uh, responsible. I show up on time. I do my job. This job that I have right now, I've had for 16 years, believe it or not. It's one of the longest jobs I've ever had in my life. When I drank, my last year of drinking, believe it or not, I went through about six different jobs. I couldn't believe it. I was quitting jobs. I was getting fired, I was hung over, I wouldn't show up. So my employment improved, it really did. Emotionally, I improved. Over time, I wasn't so reactive to my emotions. Before, in early sobriety, the world controlled me. You know, I would re react to everything in my life. You know, I was up and down, happy, sad, glad all the time. I had a lot of difficulties with my emotions, but over time, they got better too. I went to therapy, I worked the program, I did a lot of great things to help me with my emotional sobriety. And this list can go on and on and on. And by the way, I got another car and I got my license all fixed up and I got all my debts fixed up. A lot of things happened to me. But the thing about it is, the most important thing about it, sobriety at all, overall is that I was able to stay sober what a uh, silver here's i always spell i always say silver it's sober one day at a time for a long period that's the biggest thing that improved in my life my sobriety improved i was able to take life one day at a time and manage it silver sober i gotta start pronouncing that word properly some guy criticized me the other day because i say silver all the time not sober but i don't know what it is just bad pronunciation but anyways being sober, being sober really improved my life and staying clean and having sobriety for long term really improves all areas of your life. When I drank, when I drank, alcohol and addiction, that addiction behavior seeped in every nook and cranny of my life. I didn't have a chance in hell to have any sort of great life long as I was actively drinking alcoholically. I'm in a great relationship my, like with a nice woman. It took me a lot of years to get that sorted out. I have a great understanding of a higher power. I help people in the program. I'm able to donate a little money now, give a little bit back. And, but overall, life is just overall better. It's just better 100%. My general health, everything. I could go on and on and tell you things and the list and the list you could probably add can go to infinity. We are all grateful for being sober and we all know where we come from when it comes to this evil addiction. It's a tough thing to beat but your life will get better and it will continue to get better if you stay the course. If you stay the course. And one last thing that I always thought was a problem in my life, I didn't really understand life a lot. I was, I had a bad childhood sort of thing. Then I went to drug and alcohol addiction. I was having major difficulties. And I always thought that when you're sober, when you're sober, <laughs> life should be smooth. And it's not. And that's really something that improved my quality of life. When life gets tough or up and down, and you don't feel that great or something negative happens in your life, that's just a byproduct of living. If you're living a big, full life, life is not like just one level smooth. Life goes like this, it's up and down. And I thought for the longest time that I was causing a lot of problems in my life, which I was, but when life doesn't seem to go the way I want it to, it's nothing to do with me. I'm not so hard on myself anymore. And I'm not so hard on people around me. I just go 
with the flow. And that's something that came directly from working a program and reaching out, getting therapy. I'm able to take life one day at a time. And let me tell you, that is something that really improved in my life. I wanna thank you very much for stopping by and watching my video. If you have any comments, please leave it below. If you can, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober <laughs> one day at a time. Thank you very much. Today's July 1st. It's Canada Day here in Canada. So happy Canada Day to everybody. Hope you're all in good health. God bless, stay safe, stay sober, and I'll see you later. Ciao for